Well, I was involved in this initiative uh, directly by uh, Professor uh, Pierre Corneli, uh, and it was really a great pleasure for me. I, I met him last year in Rome for the seventh international conference on ethical geotechnical engineering. We start talking about uh, his uh, research team, which is uh, obviously earthquake for a customer. And it was my pleasure to introduce him to national authorities in Italy, like uh, Civil Protection and uh, INGV, the uh, National Institution of Geophysics and Vulcanology, for, for discussing about this team. I am a, an engineer and I'm involved in uh, air, geotechnical earthquake engineer. Our, our discipline traditionally deals with prevention and mitigation of earthquake effects, not with forecasting of earthquakes. The, the optimum is to be able to, to forecast the earthquake and to take some measure before the earthquake, but it is necessary to have prevention, to uh, mitigate the effect, because if buildings uh, collapse, uh, it's a problem. I had the first contact with people dealing with this research uh, just in 2009 when luckily earthquake happened. In the past, in Italy, many people, many research teams tried to do studies in this field, but with no great results. But really, I, I noticed that any group normally works on a single precursor. And, uh, uh, not always they are effective in predicting earthquakes. That's why I feel that this uh, uh, research led by uh, Pierre and the Eastern Nazarene College, in this case, they are trying to monitor and to observe not just one precursor, but a series of different precursors. And they uh, have the, the, the objective to combine in a fusion, in a fusion box, all these measurement, all this monitoring. In this case, really the forecasting could be effective because sometimes one signal can, can fail, but if a series of signals uh, gives anomalies before the event, they are able to indicate uh, to us that an event is going to happen. In this case, for this summer school, uh, I found these students very enthusiastic. Uh, I want to introduce them. Augusto Pena is the other PI, uh, is a professor in my university, and uh, the team is composed by four students of, uh, uh, of civil engineering, master course in civil engineering, uh, specifically Michela Servodio, Hi. Uh, Paolo Venditto, Hello. Domenico Datri, which is going to graduate uh, next uh, July 23rd, and uh, Sabrina Salerno. And the, the fifth component is a, a, a geologist, Dr. Michele Iovino. So we are participating with a great enthusiasm, even if in this case we decided to give our contribution and collecting data which are precursor, earthquake precursor, in order to apply this, uh, this philosophy to Italian uh, seismic areas. Our goal is to continue collaborating uh, with this group, headed by uh, Pierre, uh, and um, continue investigating in this team, even if it is not our uh, main research uh, team. I think it is fundamental to be able to uh, to couple forecasting and prevention. We already uh, started with another initiative, which is a formal agreement of uh, uh, scientific and didactic collaboration uh, between the University of Sannio and the Eastern Nazarene College. Uh, we already prepared a formal agreement and uh, it is uh, under um, uh, the, the uh, supervision of uh, the academic staff. Uh, but I'm sure that uh, we will be able to sign this agreement in order to exchange uh, uh, students uh, from Italy to Boston and from Boston to Benevento in our university. 
Uh, we are Arab is expert in civil engineering, but there are very good uh, team in other field of uh, engineering, like computer science, electronic, automotive, energy engineering. Uh, so I'm sure that we are going to continue. Uh, we are enthusiastic and a very good relation, even from a personal point of view with Pierre. And uh, we hope that next year, our participation to the summer school will be more effective, more students, more passion, even if this time I, I'm, I'm confident that our results are, uh, are, will be good.